everybody, and welcome to Sports and Ricardo Live. When this one night goes out to my very good friend, Mali, Manny Wallace over there at Royal Bank of Canada. I want to say to him that, yes, I am good for only one thing, my brother. <laughs> Let me tell you, the Capital Golf Classic was played at the Fortune Hills Golf Course. And uh, I was not in the bush this time, but there were some guys who were. The Kappa Golf Classic was a tournament to remember and played on the Fortune Hills Golf Course. A four-person scramble was the format and a Guthrows are on the links. Ambrose Guthrow leading the charge in this one. For good reason, too. Wilson, that one is Bushwright. Chris Harris played and watch him drain this birdie putt. Man, that's playing golf and a high five for Team Harris. On the tee is the baby boy playing like his grandfather, Carlton Harris. Jensen Cooper on the tee and almost a birdie. I mean, he almost killed a birdie. Come on, Steve. Meadows showed him how these hackers can play. That's good, Steve. Rick Pinder. Hey, you have to be different, right? Oh, I forgot. My bad, bro. You're a lefty. Okay, Leroy Lang, you know the drill. Ball is bush left. The car, courtesy of Quality Auto, keepers of records Anton Boleg said it was a very successful event. This is the second year that we're doing it, and it grew it from last year. We had a slow start because of the rain today, but everyone seems to be enjoying themselves and um, having a good time. Alive and Bahamian Brewery said yes to Kappa and for a worthy cause. Main priority for this tournament is a fundraiser for our flagship charity, which is a, we call it the Guide Right Program, which is a mentorship program for young men. Right now we focus on mostly East Grand Bahama and the schools up there with the young guys. And we take tradesmen up there to teach them some trades and also other persons and teach them different career paths and all that. Let's now go back to Leroy Lang. This one is in the bush as always. And what we say on the golf course, incoming. <laughs> well, the Ruby Walker's also on the links at Ruby Golf Course. And Pro Marcus here, Laroldin, a pretty good one. He had an even par 36. And also uh, Greg Bow with a 41. Mark Knowles and also Dr. Talun. Hanford Bain all with 41. Marcus here leads the tour with 54 points. Greg uh, Bow has got some 39 points. Hanford Bain has 38.83 points. And Greg Maycock sitting right there, 38 points. They'll play again tomorrow. Now the YMCA Commercial Basketball League can close out its regular season for you. And Container Port Stackers defeating the West Grand Bomber D1 57-30. to 30. Malik Smith had a 15-point game. Urban Lewis with 10. And Romain Gibson had 15 points in losing cost. The playoffs will start, and that's going to be August 8th. John Cole J.J. Jones is on court tomorrow. Uh, they've got to take on the Phoenix Mercury. John Cole is averaging 15.6 points a game, 11.3 boards, and 1.4 blocks. And don't you know that tomorrow is also the start of the Adelaide World Championship. Charles Fisher in, in London, and it's going to be live on television. So make sure you guys go and check it out. It'll be on every cable network you could find. So just sit back. If they're five hours ahead, I won't be to work tomorrow. I can watch it at home. That's a look at sports.